Hey everyone, welcome back to the new video of Counterface YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important Counterface questions and answers of the day, 17th May 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, you have two questions at the end of this video. So watch the video till the end and please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that and can download the PDF file of this section in our Telegram group and can also join our Telegram group for more study materials. Okay, we'll give the link in the description given below. You can check that and download the PDF. Okay, let's start the section. First question. Who has created a well record by scaling Mount Everest toys in the shortest span of time within a season? Okay, the answer for the question is option D. Mingma Tenji Sherpa. Okay, Mingma Tenji Sherpa has created a well record by scaling Mount Everest toys in a short span of time within a season. Okay, let's see about this. Mingma Tenshi Sharpa, a 43-year-old Nepali mountain guide, has created a world record by scaling the Mount Everest ties in the shortest span of time within a season. Okay, Sherpa, a resident of Sanguvasafa, district of eastern Nepal, first reached the summit of Everest in the evening of May 7 as a member of the rock fixing team and then scaled the world's highest mountain again on the morning on May 11. Okay, the second time Sherpa reached atop Everest as the Mountain Gate of 16 member expedition team led by Bahrain Prince Sheikh Mohammed Hamad Muhammad Al Khalifa. Okay, the Bahrain Royal Gate team is the first international team to conquer the new altitude of Everest at 8,84,886 meters. Okay, in this question, you have to note on the Mingma Tenji Sherpa, a 43 year old Nepali mountain gate has created history by scaling the mount everest okay and the bahrain royal guard team is the first international team to conquer the new altitude of the mount everest okay let's see the next point previously indian mountaineer anshu jamsenpa had held the record for the fastest dual ascent of mount everest scaling the mountain toys in 118 hours and 15 minutes in 2017 okay she however still holds the record for the fastest dual ascent on everest by a woman okay on may 8 nepali mountain gate kami rita sherpa broke his own record by climbing the mountain for the 25th time and the last point nepal and china in december last year jointly announced that the Revised height of world's highest peak was 8,84,886 meters, about 86 centimeters more than the previous measurement done by India in 1954. Okay, that's about the Mount Everest and the new records. Okay, I think it's understood about the section. Okay, I think it's understood about the question and its answer. Okay, let's see next question. Second question. Which state has launched My Village Corona Free Village campaign to Check the spread of COVID-19 infection in the rural areas. Okay, let's see the answer for the question is option A, Gujarat. Okay, Gujarat has launched a My Village Corona Free Village campaign. Okay, let's see about this campaign. In Gujarat, Marugam Corona Mukta or My Village Corona Free Village campaign launched by the state government has helped in checking the spread of COVID-19 in rural areas okay the gujarat chief minister vijay rupani had launched this 15 day campaign on the first of may on the occasion of the state's foundation day okay my village corona free village campaign was launched with the aim to check the spread of covid 19 infection in the rural areas of villages okay at present more than 13000 community covid care centers with 120000 beds are available in the villages in 33 district of Gujarat. Okay, a committee of 10 prominent villages also formed at district and taluk levels to create awareness among people for COVID appropriate behaviors. Okay, in this question, you have to note on that the Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rubani has launched a My Village Corona Free Village campaign to check the spread of COVID 19 infection in the villages and also not on the, the foundation day of Gujarat was observed on 1st May. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay. Before watching this full video, if you like this video, please click on the like button. Okay. This video like aim is only 100. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or send current office. And also in the bell icon for getting new notifications in your YouTube channel. Okay. Let's see next question. 
when is the world telecommunication and information society day observed annually okay the answer for the question is option d 17th may okay let's see about this day the world telecommunication and information society day is celebrated annually on may 17 to highlight the importance of telecommunication okay this day is being celebrated since 1969 to mark the founding day of ITU and the signing of the first International Telegraph Convention in 1865. Okay, theme for 2021 is Accelerating Digital Transformation in Challenging Times. Okay, in this question, you have to note about the World Telecommunication and Information Society Day. Okay, it is observed and on May 17th. And theme for this year 2021 is Accelerating Digital Transformation in Challenging Times. Okay, that's answer for the question. Okay, let's see next question. When is the World Hypertension Day observed annually? And okay, the answer for the question is option C, 17th May. Okay, let's see about the World Hypertension Day. Initiated by the World Hypertension League, the World Hypertension Day is marked on May 17th every year. Okay, it was launched on May 14, 2005. The World Hypertension, Hypertension League has dedicated May 17th of every year as the World Hypertension Day since 2006 okay hypertension is the main risk factor for cardiovascular diseases which includes coronary heart diseases and stroke and it is also responsible for triggering chronic kidney diseases heart failure arrhythmia and dementia okay theme for 2021 world hypertension day is measure your blood pressure control it live long okay in this question you have to know about the world hypertension day okay it is observed and learned. May 17th and the theme for 2021 is measure your blood pressure, control it, live longer. Okay, that's answer for the question. I think it's understood. If you have any doubts related to any question, it's answer. Please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see next question. Recently, the eighth installment of PM Kisan Samanidhi released to over 9.50 crore farmers. And here the question is when was PM Kisan or Pradhan Mandri Kisan scheme? launched okay the answer for the question is option b 2019 okay let's see about the news and also about pm kisan prime minister narendra modi released the eighth installment of financial benefits under pradhan mantri kisan samanidhi that is pm kisan scheme to over 9 crore 50 lakh farmers in the country okay the under the eighth installment of this largest direct cash transfer scheme in the world over 20000 crore rupees have been transferred directly in the accounts of beneficiary farmers okay pm kisan scheme was benefited millions of farmers since its launch on 24th february in 2019 okay under this scheme 6000 rupees is transferred annually to the accounts of farmers in three equal installments okay center is committed to increase the ambit of the scheme covering every farmers in the country irrespective of the land holding okay i don't know the pm kisan scheme was launched on 24th february in 2019 and under this scheme 6000 rupees is transferred to the benefits farmers okay next point over 11 crore 28 lakh farmers have benefited from the scheme so far over 1 lakh 16 thousand crore rupees have been transferred directly in the accounts of farmers under this scheme and nearly nearly 43 thousand crore was released into accounts of the farmers during the first wave of the corona pandemic okay that's answer for the question okay let's see next question which country has successfully landed its first mars rover so wrong on the surface of mars okay the answer for the question is option b china okay let's see for the china's first mars rover china has now become the second country in the history to safely land its rover on the surface of mars okay the tian one tian one one spacecraft was launched in july last year and it had been orbiting mars since february this year and the mission consists of an orbiter a lander and a rover the surong rover was strapped to the back of a landing vehicle and the rover is named after the mythical chinese code of fire okay the rover will spend around 90 martian days on the planet a soul or martian days around 24 hours and 39 minutes okay the crater where sura has landed is called the utopia plan plancia okay you have to note on that china has successfully landed its mars rover surong rover on the surface of mars okay let's see the history 
China's Mars landing is historic by all accounts. So far, only the United States has successfully managed to land its rover on the planet and also deploy them for exploration. Okay, the former Soviet Union did manage to land on Mars, but the mission only a partial success as they lost contact soon after landing. Technically, China is said to land on Mars if one counts the Russian landing. But if given that it has deployed the rover, China is the only country to do so. Okay, that's the history being in the rover landing in the Mars. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. Biz Payments Bank has launched a DigiGold, a digital platform for its customers to make investment in gold. Okay, the answer for the question is option C, Airtel Payments Bank. Okay, let's see about the DigiGold of Airtel Payments Bank. Airtel Payments Bank has launched a DigiGold, a digital platform for its customers to make investment in gold. DigiGold has been launched in partnership with SafeGold, a provider of digital gold. Okay, with DigiGold, Airtel Payments Bank saving accounts customers can invest in 24 karat gold using the Airtel Thanks app. Okay, the customers can also give DigiGold to their family and friends who have a saving account with Airtel Payments Bank. Okay, the gold purchased by the customers is stored securely by Safe gold at no addition cost and can be sold through Airtel Thanks app at any time in matter of few clicks. Okay, in this question you have not that the Airtel Payments Bank has launched a DC gold, a digital platform for its customers to make investment in gold. Okay, let's see about the Airtel Payments Bank. Okay, before going for that, okay, let's see what is meant by Payments Bank. Okay, the Payments Bank is an Indian new model of banks conceptualized by the Reserve Bank of India. Okay, these banks can accept a re restricted deposit, which is currently limited to 2 lakh per customer and may be increased further. Okay, these banks cannot be issued loans and credit cards. Both current and current account and saving accounts can be operated by such banks. Okay, that is meant by a Payments Bank. Okay, let's see for the Airtel Payments Bank. The Airtel Payments Bank is an Indian Payments Bank with its headquarters in New Delhi. And the company is a subsidiary of for the Airtel. Okay, on 11th April 2016, it became the first company to receive the Payments Bank license from the Reserve Bank of India under Section 22 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. And you have to note on the important point that is Airtel Payments Bank is the first payments bank in India. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. Where is headquarters of International Telecommunication Union or ITU located? Okay, the answer for the question is option B. Geneva in Switzerland. Okay, let's see about the International Telecommunication Union. The International Telecommunication Union is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for all matters related to information and communication technologies it was established in 17 may 1865 as international telegraph union it is one of the oldest international organization in operation okay the headquarters of international telecommunication union is located at genoa in Switzerland. okay in this question you have to note about the international telecommunication union or itu okay it was established in the year 1865 and headquartered at genoa in Switzerland. okay that's answer for the question i think it's understood Okay, let's see the answer for the questions of last kind of question as a video of 16th May 2021. Okay, let's see the answer for the first question. Which country will host the Women's 2021 Rugby World Cup? Okay, the answer for the question is option C, New Zealand. Okay, let's see about the world's, sorry, Women's 2021 Rugby World Cup. Rugby World Cup 2021 will now take place from 8th October to 20, sorry, 12th November. 2022 in New Zealand. Okay, the tournament which had been due to take place in September and October 2021 was postponed in March due to the COVID-19 pandemic and will now take place late next year. Okay, the World Rugby has also announced that the tournament window was extended from 35 to 40 days, which ensures a minimum five-day rest period between matches. Okay, in this question, you have to note on that the 2021 Women's Rugby World Cup will be held in New Zealand from 8th October to 12th November 2022. Okay, that's answer for the first question. Okay, let's see next question. Second question. Anu Fattacharya, a pandemic musician who has passed away recently from 
was from which country okay the answer for the question is option d bangladesh okay let's see about anup Fatacharya. freedom fighter and satin bengla better kendra musician anup Fatacharya has passed away during the liberation war of bangladesh he works as the composer and music director of satin bengla better kendra and he is also a founder member of the rabindra sangeet shilpi Sang Sangsta. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. And if you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss them. Okay, let's see the today's questions for you. Okay, daily we are giving two questions that you can answer and please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see the first question for you. Who has been appointed as the head coach of Indian women's cricket team? Okay, the options for you, option A, Rahul Dravid, option B, Ramesh Pawar, option C, Munaf Patel, and the option D, Lakshmi Padi Balaji. Okay, I'll repeat the first question for one more time. Who has been appointed as the head coach of Indian women's cricket team? Okay, please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, Current of Ways. Okay, let's see second question for you. When is the National Dengue Day? observed in india okay the options for you option a 14 may option b 15 may option c 16 may and the option d 17 may okay we'll repeat the second question for one more time when is the national dengue day observed in india okay please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay in this video we have discussed about the important current affairs questions and answers of the 17th may 2021 for all competitive examinations okay i think it's understood about the section if you have any doubts related to any question and its answer please comment down in the comment section given below we will discuss that and you can download the pdf file of this section in our telegram group and you can also Join our Telegram group for more study materials. Okay, we'll give the link in the description. Given below, you can check there and download the PDF. And if you're not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel, current affairs, and also enable the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you tomorrow with a new video on current affairs and other study topics. Thank you. Bye bye.